Rochester's North Witten neighborhood is a tight-knit community that, while it hasn't experienced as much crime as some other parts of the city, has still seen their fair share. The most recent incident happening just three days ago. Mel Elhel headed out that way today to learn more about their concerns. An alarm system went off early Saturday morning, waking the neighbors in the area of Winton and Blossom Roads. That noise, which has become all too familiar, coming from the Tops gas station across the street. People started looking out. Uh, they could see that there was somebody at the gas station, which was closed. Rochester police responded to the gas station a short time later to find the front window smashed in and several items stolen. Dennis McCarthy has worked and lived in the area for over 20 years and says things have only gotten worse over time. Certainly over the last year, two years, it's gotten uh, more frequent and more brazen uh, in the neighborhood here, uh, for sure. Lieutenant Greg Bello with RPD says there has been an increase in crime over the years, and while gun violence is the department's top priority at the moment, other crime still goes on. But to make a difference, he says it takes a village, not the work of a single agency. Whether it's violent crime, whether it's property crime, whatever it may be, he's calling that crime and that negative impact to their neighbor is calling that unacceptable. And the police department were certainly there to work with people and with neighborhoods and with communities to do that. As for the North Winton area, crime isn't as much of a concern as other hot spots in the city, and it has stayed relatively consistent over the years. But McCarthy says regardless of the amount, crime is still crime, especially when it's happening in your own backyard. It's not good no matter where it is. And certainly we don't want it here, but we don't want it anywhere. RPD is working with TOPS to gather video evidence, and they ask anyone in the area who also has video of this incident or others to contact them. We all have to be in this together to help stop not just a violent crime, but property crime as well. Reporting in Rochester, Amel Elhel, News 8. Amel, thanks. Bella says to combat crime in the city, RPD needs the help of the public. And if you have any information to report, all you have to do is call 311.